The FGC is losing their damn mind for law back in Tekken 8. And the official Street Fighter Twitter page releases more footage of Geef versus Marissa in Street Fighter 6. Let's go. Couldn't look away from a train break. You can blame it on the tank or the disrespect. Before you play bad button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful episode of Checking These Buttons. As always, chapters down below if you guys want to skip around to a certain subject. And of course, that subscribe button is right there. Go ahead and give it a little click. Without further ado, we got some buttons to check, some hot topics. Ladies and gents, let's go. All right, now into them. Show me everything you got, Street Fighter 6, right? Geef versus Marissa buttons that need to be checked. Damn, that's a long title. All right, so Street Fighter, right? The official Street Fighter page on Twitter released this just yesterday, right? saying show me everything you have watch the colossal zangief and marissa duke it out in a special developer match so i guess this is like what the developers playing each other they just posted this last night let's check it out this is my first time seeing it let's go show me everything you have, show me everything you have. damn Overheads is crazy. Okay, so he broke through that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! The super loop, baby. He took it for a ride. Okay, here we go again. All day. Okay, now she got his ass. I haven't even seen her moveset. Like, the, the full extent, you know what I'm saying? So I guess what, that's round one, she took it? So what is she, like the female beef, you know what I'm saying? Obviously not, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. She buffed as hell. Grappler versus grappler. Okay, Geef with the overhead. Scoop her again. Damn, literally just punched him in the back of the damn head. Deep with the chops. I haven't seen anything too crazy. Oh shit, activation, let's go. Nice, love the animation. A lot of damn damage. Woo! That's what I was talking about. That's what I was looking for right there. Oh, now we got the other activation. Here we go. Oh, hit that super. Damn. Punched his damn head into his body. Oh, I love it. I like that shit. I like the way that round went. Round two was a lot better than round one. Oh, that was round three, right? That, I'm a fan. All right, so there you go. Like this is, I guess, a developer match, so it's not like pros or anything like that, but I love the way the match ended. I will say that. In the beginning, watching it, I was like, this is, uh, this is all right, you know what I'm saying? But the way it ended, there was a lot more action. I'm not a huge Marissa fan at this point, but I do love this shit out of that super. Like, the animation, I think it was better than Geef's. That's just me. Uh, MEZ posted this saying, art, which this scene did look dope, you know what I'm saying, where they're both kind of like rushing at each other. Others are like, look, it's the green hand. And we all know it's not the green hand, exactly. Some are adding, first off, where's the green hand, of course. And then secondly, how the heck did Zangief's jumping heavy kick send Marissa flying across the world like a stray sonic boom? I'm seeming like a real rookie right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't remember. I'm getting like a brain fart. I know I've seen that move before, but I can't recall who was doing it. Let me know in the comment section. Like, I'm stressing out about this. So there it is in real talk. Like, if they just showed us those first two rounds, it was lackluster to me. I would have been like, yeah, okay. But the third round won me over because I said, oh, okay, there's a lot more potential in this between these two characters. I thought it was hype. I thought a lot of the animations were hype. How y'all feeling? All right, and now into them Tekken 8 buttons that need absolutely need 
to be checked. This got released just yesterday when they said, join the official Tekken, oh, that is wrong. Uh, when they said, time to show you who is the best, come get it with Law in Tekken 8. Oh, I can't wait for this because I saved it for y'all. I have not seen this. I just see a lot of replies from the community going absolute crazy. So far, I haven't seen anything negative, you know what I'm saying? Let's check it out. Peggy 16. I'm excited about this one. I didn't even expect this one. Not yesterday, anyway. Get ready for the next battle. The legendary dragon. Oh, he looks crispy. Damn, he looks good. That facial feature, though. Oh, he looks good. Martial law. Just the pose alone, he looks good. Oh, give me Bruce Lee. Give me them Bruce Lee vibes. Give me them Fei Long vibes. Damn. Get him with them chucks, baby. Woo. Oh my God, the animation. The veins and the muscles. Oh my God, give it to me. Damn, this dude right here. This dude right here is the one to bring me into Tekken 8. This is the character right here I've been waiting for. Woo! Damn. Kick this man to outer space. Oh, I love the slow-mo. I'm a fan of that. See that? Oh, give me the Bruce Lee. Give me the Bruce Lee. Break that neck. This is Bruce Lee. I love when he does that shit. Second egg. This is the this is the character. This is my character. This is my character. Y'all already know me. Y'all already know me how I feel about Tekken. I've always said I wasn't, you know, the biggest Tekken fan. Didn't know all the characters and whatnot. I always respected the game since the arcade days back in the 80s, you know, and whatnot growing up, you know, in the arcades with it. But didn't really play it a lot. I was always on Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat and whatnot. And, but Lee, you know what I'm saying? Martial law. I already called his ass Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee, because it's Bruce Lee. I love it. I love that, that Law is Bruce Lee. I love it. I absolutely, I'm down. And then you can see some of the reactions right here. Obviously, I'll put some on the screen. I'm so far seeing nothing negative. A lot of people are describing the facial features, the moveset, the animation, and growing up in the 80s, you know, obviously, if you in my generation, you love you ass some Bruce Lee. Hell, you love Bruce Lee so much, you love Bruce Lee Roy. You know what I'm saying? You, you love Into the Dragon and you love The Last Dragon. You wanted to be Bruce Lee. If you had a brother, if you had a cousin, you thought your ass was Bruce Lee and you beat their ass every chance you got. And of course, FGC, FGC pros are going crazy. Arslan Ash confirming it right here saying, so far, the best character will try to play him in T8. I see Tekken Master responding as well saying he looks sick. And Justin to the Wong saying, Law looks so sick with the added nunchucks to his move list. And we'll finish it up right here with Harada that says, by the way, I still get questions from time to time, but I'm no longer a voice actor for Law. I was Law's voice actor until Tekken 6 in 2009. See, I had no idea. I see that's, I'm, I'm out of the loop, you know what I'm saying? I had no idea that Harada-san, the man, Mr. Don't Ask Me For Shit, you know what I'm saying, was the actual voice for Law up until Tekken 6. So that it is one more game, definitely let me know how you guys are feeling. Thank you for the amazing love and always tuning in, subscribing, helping the channel grow, man. I'm excited. Gameplay right now in the FGC is looking up, you know what I'm saying? And as always, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. See you soon. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. Anyway, I love, this is a beautiful character. Is it not? I love it. I love everything about it. You know, every now and then you watch a, a combo, you watch a moveset, you watch an animation or a character that actually gets your attention. Like maybe, maybe I might play this damn game. It was the same way for me and my wife, you know what I'm saying? Cause she was the first white woman I ever been with, you know? So I, I wasn't necessarily into white women, but then I saw her and I said, ooh, maybe I might be into this game. <laughs>
<laughs> you see, because she was the first white jungle fever. Not really jungle fever, because I'm, but you know, uh, she. Please don't cancel me. <laughs>